Meet Sarah. Sarah is a young professional who recently graduated from college and landed her first job at a retail company. Her main responsibility is to understand which products are selling well and why. But with hundreds of products across multiple stores, she quickly becomes overwhelmed. Sarah has access to mountains of data, sales figures, customer reviews, and stock levels. But without knowing how to make sense of it all, she feels stuck. That's when her manager introduces her to the world of data analytics, a powerful tool that could help Sarah overcome her challenges. Let us first understand what data analytics is and what its various applications are. Data analytics is the process of examining, cleaning, and transforming raw data into valuable insights that businesses can act on. It helps professionals like Sarah understand customer behavior, track product performance, and make informed decisions about inventory and promotions. Widely used across industries such as healthcare, finance, marketing, and sports, data analytics aids in predicting trends, improving decision-making, and optimizing strategies from potential patient outcomes to detecting fraud or enhancing sports performance. Let us now see how Sarah utilized data analytics to solve some of the key problems she faced. Her biggest challenge was that she couldn't figure out why certain products were performing better than others. While some items were flying off the shelves, others weren't moving at all, and Sarah didn't have a clear understanding of why this was happening. She needed to pinpoint the factors driving sales, whether it was pricing, seasonality, customer preferences, or promotions. Without knowing this, it was impossible for her to advise the company on what products to focus on or how to plan future promotions. Sarah realized that she needed a structured approach to analyze the data. Here's how she used data analytics to uncover the answers. One, data collection and integration. The first step Sarah took was to collect data from various sources. She gathered sales figures, customer feedback, and promotion records from the company's internal databases. She also included external data, such as market trends and competitors' pricing. Using Excel and SQL, she compiled all the data into a single, unified dataset. This step helped her see all the information in one place, setting the foundation for deeper analysis. Two, data cleaning. Before diving into analysis, Sarah needed to ensure the data was clean and reliable. This meant dealing with missing values, removing duplicate entries, and correcting any errors in the dataset. Sarah used Python and Pandas, a powerful data analysis library to automate the process. For instance, she filled in missing sales data and standardized customer feedback formats to make sure everything was consistent. By doing this, she ensured that her insights would be based on accurate data. Three, descriptive analytics. Spotting trends. Sarah then used descriptive analytics to understand the current state of sales. Descriptive analytics is about looking at past data to understand what has happened and identify trends or patterns. She ran calculations to determine average sales per product, sales per store location, and sales performance over time. Using Excel pivot tables and Power BI, Sarah was able to create clear visualizations graphs and charts that highlighted which products were selling the most, at what times, and in which locations. By doing this, Sarah identified that some products performed well in certain stores, but not in others, and she also noticed sales spikes during specific promotions. 4. Predictive Analytics – Understanding Customer Behavior Next, Sarah wanted to predict future trends to better plan promotions and inventory. She used machine learning algorithms in Python to perform predictive analytics. Predictive analytics uses data and math to guess what might happen in the future. For example, using Scikit-Learn, which is a Python tool that helps build and test machine learning models easily, Sarah built a model that analyzed historical sales data, customer demographics, and external factors, such as seasonality, to forecast future product demand. This helped her anticipate which products would likely sell better during the upcoming holiday season. 5. A-B Testing – Validating Promotion Strategies Sarah's company often ran different promotions to boost sales, but she wanted to know which strategies were most effective. Using A-B Testing, a technique that involves comparing two variations of a strategy, 
Sarah was able to analyze the impact of different discount levels on sales. She ran tests where one group of customers received a 10% discount, while another group received a 20% discount. By tracking the sales performance using Google Analytics and SQL, she discovered that a 15% discount yielded the highest sales without significantly cutting into profit margins. Through the use of data analytics, Sarah was able to pinpoint the factors driving product sales. Her analysis revealed that products that were marketed heavily during promotional periods, especially with a discount of around 15%, saw the highest sales. Additionally, she found that certain items sold better in specific regions, likely due to local preferences. With this insight, Sarah recommended the company focus their marketing efforts on high-performing regions and adjust their promotion strategies to maximize sales without eroding profit margins. By using data analytics tools like Excel, Python, and Power BI, Sarah not only overcame her initial challenge, but also transformed how her company made business decisions. Her ability to turn raw data into actionable insights helped the company improve inventory management, optimize promotional strategies, and ultimately drive higher profits. On that note, here's a quiz for you. What is the purpose of data cleaning in Sarah's analytics process? A, to remove irrelevant data points. B, to ensure insights are based on accurate and reliable data. C, to improve data visualization. D, to filter out high sales data. Make sure to comment your answer in the comments section below, and we will give a 500 rupees Amazon voucher to one winner who gives the correct answer. If you want to learn and master data analytics just like Sarah, then you can enroll in Simply Learn's Data Analyst Master Program. We hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative and exciting. If yes, then we would appreciate a thumbs up. A gentle reminder to get subscribed to Simply Learn and click that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn.